Well, Daddy, good night. Say good night, Dada. <laughs> Can you blow him a kiss? <laughs> good job. This video of one-year-old Taylor. Say good night, Dada was sent to his father, Officer Justin Billa, Tuesday night, just a few hours before he responded to the call that changed the family's life forever. Officer Billa was shot for doing his job and died protecting the community. The entire city of Mobile turning blue for this fallen hero. She told me she loves me every day before I leave for work and I make sure to do the same. In an interview with Fox 10 News two years ago, Officer Billa spoke of his love for his wife Erin. The two had known each other since they were children. Erin sending us this photo of when they were five years old. Videos taken over the years paint the young officer as a loving father and family man. <laughs> Proving that behind every strong police officer is an even stronger family who supports them. Say good night, Dada. In this video from Tuesday night, just one example of the inspiration Billa had to serve and protect. <laughs> good job. Aaron Billa sent this personal message to Fox 10 News to share. It reads, quote, Justin was an amazing husband, father, and officer. He was truly my best friend in this world. There wasn't a day that we didn't kiss each other goodbye and told each other we loved each other before either of us left. He was the best daddy to Taylor, and my heart hurts that Taylor won't get to grow up with his daddy. But I will make sure that he knows exactly the hero, father, and husband that Justin was. Justin loved his job so very much. He was my hero long before he became an officer, but now he is truly a hero to everyone. Justin and I actually have known each other since we were five, and the day I saw him, I thought, man, what a cutie. We had so many plans for the future, and my heart breaks that we won't be able to do them together now. I'm going to live my life honoring and respecting him because he was my soulmate. And if you want to help Officer Billa's family, you can visit our website, foxntv.com, and you can find this article. Inside is the link to the official memorial fund set up by Mobile Police. And here you can also leave your thoughts and prayers for his family.